This is the plaintiff, James Gales. He says he and the defendant dated when they were teenagers, and she recently hired him to handle a social security claim, and she agreed to pay him $1,000 for his services. As things progressed, the defendant became agitated and freaked out one day, telling him he was fired and she was going to use someone else. He put in a lot of hours, deserves to be paid, and is suing her for $1,900 for services rendered, plus pain and suffering. This is the defendant, Loretta Winslow. She says the plaintiff was treating her like a child, disrespected her, and since he wasn't providing her with the information she asked for, she fired him. She doesn't own anything because he breached their agreement by failing to do the work she hired him to do. And she thinks the judge will agree. She's accused of cutting off a friend. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, these litigants dated while they were teens, and she hired him to handle her social security claim and didn't pay. Now, she says he did a bad job. It's a case of you're so antisocial. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. James Gales? Yes, ma'am. You are suing Loretta Winslow, your former friend, for $1,900. 1, $1,000 of it that you say she owes you for work that you did for her and the rest of it for pain and suffering because she didn't pay you the $1,000. That's interesting. Um, let me hear from you. What happened here? Well, on February the 1st, 2016, we went into agreement to file for her son's IEP. Okay. Um, Slow your roll. Let's rewind a little bit. How do you two know each other? I used to um, date Loretta back in the day, a long time ago. And um, I just happened to go out one day and I seen her, asked her, did she know anybody that, um, kids that got EIPs or been in slow classes? Because I'm an avid, I was in slow classes. And I figured, well, I, since I filed social security claims, I can help Loretta okay. get money. Okay, so what do you do that you file other people's social security claims, or well, you help I, them to file their social security claims? What I do, I, I as a paralegal, I graduated. You're a paralegal? Yes, now I am. And, okay. um, Were I you a paralegal when you offered to help? Them? Yes, ma'am, I okay. was. And okay. I um, asked Loretta, I went to her house, I asked her, let me see her documents and paper, and I did it over the film. Okay, so wait, wait, hold on. So what were you going to be helping her to apply for? Her child was already in, in special classes, right? Yes. And, so um, you were going to help her to apply for what? Uh, for mental disability, because he has a disability, learning disability. Um, I filed the paperwork. So then, wait, what would she get? Money from the government? Yes, I would get her the money from the government. How much money from the government was she going to get? Uh, $15,000. A one-time payment of $15,000? Yeah, and plus, after that, they would give her seven thirty-three dollars for her son's rest of his life. He'll get a check okay. each month. So per you're month. telling her about this um, this money that's available to her because her son's in special classes. Yes. And she didn't know about it, and that's the service that you're providing. You're telling her that you will, in return for how much money? For fifteen. Oh, for I charge a flat fee, a thousand dollars. In return for a thousand dollars, which you get paid when, if the paperwork goes through and yes, is approved. Yes. If the paperwork goes if through. You, if it's not approved, then. Then I don't get paid. Okay. I told so her So you this. strike this deal with her, and you actually put it in writing, correct? Yes, I got everything in May writing. May I see it? Yes, ma'am. The originals. So social security claim filing documents. We shall perform all reasonable, necessary, and usual services in matter of this kind, including but not limited to investigating of facts, gathering evidence to support your disability claim, compiling records of expenses and negotiations with social security if they rebuke client's claim. When over the phone interview takes place, I will support client what to say if he, she needs our assistant. So really, what are you gonna do? You're gonna help her to file the claim? What I did, I helped her file the claim. I filed it under his disability right here. Okay, so let me see the, the work Security that you Department. did, because uh, her defense is you didn't, you didn't earn your fee. Okay. So show me all of the work that you did so I can okay, go this to is What did you I, think you were hiring is, him to do? This is what I you did si Okay, sh you did sign this, did you yes, not? Yes, I did. Okay, mm -hmm. and in it, it says that you're supposed to pay him $1,000 if you get your... Um, Disability for yeah. my so son. Yeah, so what's the deal? What happened? Okay, well, when, when he, um, he came to me and said that he would represent me, he was just basically saying that... Um, I would get my disability for my son for uh, a, learning, a learning impairment. In school, he is, uh, he's learning disabled. What's the nature of the disability? 
Um, he has a speech therapist that's okay. helping him speak clearly, and okay. so then he having some disabilities in class. Okay, so why won't you pay the guy? Okay, you all know what a paralegal is. Would you hire a paralegal, not a lawyer, but like somebody who kind of knows the law, to handle a social security claim? I probably would trust them enough, but at least try and get a second opinion as well. Second opinion from a paralegal? From an attorney. Well, then why not? Why hire the barrel eagle? But if you don't have any money, and then you are. Yeah, but then you end up hiring two people. Well, you don't really hire. I mean, it, getting an opinion isn't really paying for something. You know, I'm a professional arguer. Do you really want to go down this road? <laughs> no. I okay, don't. exactly. Going inside the courtroom. I never said I wouldn't pay him, but what oh, was yeah, going Yeah, you did. No, I never said I would not pay him. So that was what I was trying to. Did you pay him? Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, did okay. you get the money? No, I didn't. Okay, um, and why didn't you get the money? Well, um, they were saying basically that I, the, the claim that I filed, it wasn't underneath what I should have been filing for. Which oh, is really? Also, why we were in the process of going through this, and I was taking them to the doctor. Stop, stop. Okay. So he filed a claim, mm -hmm. but they told you. Do you have that in writing? Yes. Great. Look for that. Now you tell me what happened here. Uh, what happened was I got texts from her saying she hired another attorney. Can I yeah. hand you this, please? Yeah, let me see. I went downtown and stopped the check. I told them they should go and use you it. You say that, but I have something from the Supplemental Security Income people that says April 20th, 2016. We are writing about, and then it says your son's name, his claim for Supplemental Security Income. That's what you applied for? Yes. Okay, and it says, based on a review of his medical condition, he does not qualify for SSI payments on this claim because he is not disabled or blind under our rules. Well, she did that herself. That's what I got mad about. I told her not to do the work. She fired me and did it on her own. So I didn't have nothing to do with that, Judge. Did you I didn't even know that something exists. else after you... But it's in that stop, phone. Stop, stop, stop. When did she fire you, according to you? In that phone right there. In the she phone said on she, what date? Mr. Jeffrey sent this her some is, paperwork. Stop, stop. Stop. The earliest text you have from her, I lied. I got approved. Joke's on you. How you like those apples? I had an attorney all along. Thanks for the jump start. <laughs> you cut off. What dumb, dumb. Call me a dummy. What are you, what are you saying Be to him? Okay, I'm saying that because he texted before and said that he had it cut off. He stopped, he stopped my check from coming through. What day did you file her paper? February the 1st. May I see proof that you filed it on February the 1st? Uh, yeah. This all is right, what I let's filed. see that. And I stopped her check. I stopped it. And that's the I know you keep saying that. Yeah. I need to see proof okay. of what you're saying. In the phone. Okay, so here we have a document that says received April 25th. They showed me that, yeah. Okay. On April 25th, what you're showing me is a letter From that me. I guess that she filed on April 25th. No, I filed that. You filed this yeah, on April that. 25th? Yeah, and then if you look at the last email. So you're. If you look at the last email, I stopped it. Because she said she wasn't going to pay me. That was the same day on that phone right okay, there. Okay, so the, old, the earliest proof that you have of any filing yeah. is April 25th? April 25th. I okay. filed it. They sent, that, Great. they sent me back that. And I, she okay. sent me something on the phone on the 25th, the same day, saying okay. she hired a lawyer. I waste my time, she okay, said. Okay, so on April 25th is the earliest proof you have of, ha of you filing I anything. Filed, I filed And his... April 25th, what you filed was a typed letter that does not have her signature. Did you don't write this it. letter? No, I did not. I did. You did? Yeah, I'm writing on behalf of me. my child? Nah, nah, you're just filing a false claim. I'm writing on behalf of my child, and then it has your child's name. My son has a serious learning and speech disabilities, which he's been receiving speech therapy services at school since age three, kindergarten year. This disorder has mentally delayed my child from understanding schoolwork. My child is suffering from not being normal like the others. Children, they'd be laughing at his speech, laughing. I mean, why would this entitle somebody to $15,000? This is just a kid who, you know, has, a, okay. So have you ever received any of this money? No, okay. I have not. So when did you get into the, the contest with him where you're texting him, ha ha, I had a lawyer all the time. Why did that happen? Why did it become okay. animosity between you two? I, well, I, I start asking him questions. Um, as far as I was letting him, I kept touching base with him, letting him know what was going on with my son, like a certain appointments, and you know, I was just like asking him, what do you think I sh should do next? Should I contact the guy from um, Social Security, or what should I do? And he was like really antsy with me. Kurt with you because he kind of felt that you were t pestering him? Yes, and so, you know, then he started texting me, just saying some personal things to me like or what? whatever. Like what? 
just basically like, you know, people, you know what I'm saying, live in lower class. They don't understand when someone's trying to help them, trying to help them get better and so help them doing better. So he was condescending to you and you yeah, didn't like Yeah, so, it. you know, that, so that was kind of making me feel some kind of way. I was like, look, I'm just asking you some questions about this. You know, I've been kind of doing the paperwork. I've been basically talking to the guy from Social Security, asking what I needed to do. I've been going to the schools, talking to the psychologist, the speech therapist, asking them to show me the evaluation paper so I can fax okay. them. At the end of the so, day, did you actually hire a lawyer? No, right? You just said No, that because, no, at okay. the end of the day, I'm just going to do an appeal, of course, and then start all over again, but... Okay, so here's the letter from Social Security that says, here's the re he does not qualify. It does, the objective evidence shows he has a physical, he has physical and mental impairments which can limit his functioning. However, his conditions are not to the degree of severity necessary to be considered disabled by the strict Social Security Disability Program guidelines. Why are we here? You're not even supposed to get paid unless she gets paid. And she did, there's no evidence that she got paid. She never got paid. So even under your contract, why are you suing her for $1,000? I don't care what she says to you by text. At the end of the day, it turns out her son didn't qualify anyway. So when this says here, we are denying you on the merits. It's over. Your contract says you get paid if she gets paid. So whether or not she was firing you, whether or not she had been sick of you, whether she was sick of you condescending to her, whether whatever it is, it doesn't matter because she didn't get paid, you don't get paid. Verdict for the defendant. So the defendant prevails. The plaintiff, Mr. Gales, has just come out. Do you understand the judge's decision? Well, she's the judge. She is the judge? She's and, the law. Yeah, she's the law. <laughs> and the law of the land, it goes that way sometimes. But for me, uh, I did not have no knowledge of her filing it on her own. That is her own discretion. It's not my fault. Well, the bottom line, she didn't get paid, so you don't get paid. Yeah. Okay? You understand? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. You must sign some documents on your way out of the courtroom. Now Ms. Wislow's coming out. All right, how do you feel about the outcome? I yeah. feel justice has prevailed. You think so? And next time I think I need to do it the professional way and keep friends and relationships out of it. All right, well, you learned a valuable lesson. Yes, I have. What, was this your, your moral support? It was. Yes, I was so here okay. for moral Very support. Good. Well, you yes. did a good job. Oh, okay. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you so much. Harvey? Okay, Doug, you know, it's a simple case. Um, it doesn't matter how much work he did. If the deal was you only get paid if she gets her Social Security benefits and she is denied, case closed.